Hello, today we are going to make a bee. Inflate about 6 inch long yellow bubble with very long flat tail. Let's twist the first soft about 3 inch bubble. It is the body of the bee. Now we twist the second soft about 1 inch bubble. And twist the third soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. And now we lock all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. The second and the third bubbles helps us to keep the wings of the bee in proper position. The rest of the balloon is the fourth bubble. Let's lock both ends of the fourth, the last bubble, in one lock twist. The fourth bubble represents the head of the bee. Alright, so far we have made the bee without wings. Later on we're going to use the rest of the yellow balloon, the flat tail, uh, to make the bracelet. Now we are going to make uh, the wings and we are going to use two black balloons to make the wings. Fill the black balloon with the air, try not to make any bubbles. If you make bubble like this, you have to deflate it. And only after that you have to tie the knot. Keep the air inside of the balloon while you make a knot. Um, we actually can uh, tie both ends of the balloon right away in one knot. In this example I work in two steps, tie the balloon first and then tie both ends of the balloon in one knot. Of course we can use just one black balloon to make two wings. However, I personally like this sculpture with a larger size uh, wings. That is why I'm going to use uh, one balloon per a wing. Alright, we have made a wing. Now we attach the wing, the black balloon, to the bee body. We have to lock the nut of the black balloon between yellow bubbles. I pull the yellow balloon through the loop of the black balloon and wrap the black balloon at least one time around the yellow balloon. Just to make sure they connected properly. So far we have attached one wing to the bee. Uh, make the second wing in the same way as we did the first one. I have already prepared the second wing in advance. So now I just attach the second wing to the uh, bee's body. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. We can fix the head bubble either in a vertical or horizontal position. I personally prefer to keep it in a horizontal position. Now it is time to lock both ends of the yellow long flat tail in one lock twist. This way we are making a bracelet. Also we can use a long uh, flat yellow tail uh, to suspend the sculpture in air. It actually makes a fun toy, many kids prefer to play with this kind of toy. Let's use a permanent black marker to draw the eyes, mouth and uh, make some stripes on the bee's body. I draw eyes, here's a little nose and a big smile. Here's the top side of our sculpture. I'm making drawings only on top side of our sculpture. It's a little thing, but I think it is very important. Keep in mind that uh, even permanent marker is not so permanent. When uh, your hands come in contact with uh, drawings, it leaves uh, some smear on your skin. And basically, I don't want a little child hand get in touch with some paint. Alright, we have made the bee and it is a bracelet. 
Put your hand through the loop of the bracelet. Now you can shake the hand to make the wings move. Uh, we can use the same number of balloons to make the bee with two wings and antennas. Uh, the bee body is gonna be the same. Balloons for the wings we inflate making just one inch bubble. And we have to force uh, the one inch bubble to the other end of the balloon. In this example I'm using silver color balloon to make the wings. So here I prepare two silver color balloons for the wings. And in this example I'm going to use gold color balloon for the body. Here I have already prepared the bee's body. Let's assemble our sculpture. We have to lock the nut of the silver balloon between uh, bubbles of the bee body. Measure about 3 inch long piece from the other end of the silver balloon to make the antenna. At this point we lock the silver balloon between bubbles of the beam. We have made one wing and one antenna. And now we are going to attach the second silver balloon in exactly the same way to make the second wing and the second antenna. There is no rush, take your time. Make sure to make the antennas of the same size. Also you want to make wings of the same size as well. We have to fix antennas uh, on the top side of the head. And now we just have to fix all bubbles in proper positions. Ok, it all looks good now. Again we can use a permanent black marker to draw the face of the bee and make some stripes on the body. There is no much need to make any complicated drawings. Uh, I do it very simple as you can see. I drew two eyes, little nose, smiley mouth. And uh, remember that even the permanent marker smears off. Only for this reason I make all my drawings only on parts of the balloon that stays away from the skin, from the little hands. This sculpture is wearable, we can use it as a bracelet. Or we can use this sculpture as part of uh, flower compositions, for example. Congratulations, we have made the bee with antennas. Here is the bottom view. This is the top view. And the front view. Think it's enough for today. Have fun and happy twisting.